Hey guys, it's Ghostly. I wanted to do a little experiment, right, with a new content style, I think. Um, one that's much easier on me um, in terms of time and, and editing and um, just overall, like, I want to I wanna experiment with, like, just the vibe, I guess. Um, by making something that is just chill, you know? Uh, whether or not, like, I want to be able to tell stories, right? Um, and I feel like the stories that I tell, while they're fine, it's very filtered, right? Where I, I write down the script for the video, um, and I gotta come up with, like, other names and everything, and it's, it's a whole process, um, I want to experiment with something that's more low-key, right, uh, and laid back, where it's just like, more so life advice than story times, right, um, where I talk about like lessons that I've, I've learned through my 19 years of, of life, um, which I know how silly that sounds, but I genuinely feel as though, at least in the past year, um, I've made a lot of personal growth, and, and um, that leads me into the, the, you know, topic of the first video here, which is uh, personal growth and, and overcoming, like, hardship where you know I feel like in the last year I've really learned that like in order to enjoy a lot of the highs of life I guess uh, there's a lot of lows that you really have to experience um, and in order to really kind of be the best version of yourself um, you really need to understand like like you need to have like a good like understanding of who you are and your experiences and kind of looking at your your life through a very unfiltered and unbiased you know lens as uncomfortable as it may be um, that's kind of what this I'm hoping this becomes a series because I actually I want to be able to do this like how I just tell stories on stream um, very unfiltered a lot of ums and uhs because it's not scripted and I uh, suck at, at talking um, but yeah um, I want to I wanna be able to, to share a lot of my experiences in the form of just these videos. In, in maybe, like, also just, like, like, a part of it is, like, these are, are topics that I feel like I've tried to work into stories that just don't really work as, as a fully fleshed out story. Um... Like, for example, what I'm going to be talking about today, and I also want to preface that, like, my stories are meant to be just that, stories. Like, I, I really only share uh, my experiences uh, for the sake of entertainment and, you know, having a lesson and hoping that people walk away with a bit of a new in insight. Um, so... I don't want people to get the wrong idea that it's anything deeper than that, right? <clears throat> but, like I said, overcoming hardship. I wanted to start off with this because I feel like 2023 was an incredibly difficult year for me, right? Uh, 
I started the year off in a really low spot, and I arguably ended the year in an even worse one. Um, but I had basically started the year um, just in a really low spot mentally. Um, I was in a toxic friend group. Uh, my, you know, one of my closest friends at the time, she did not have my best interest. And then I started dating her, um, and then it got worse. But this isn't about that. This is not that story. Um, which I've been debating on making that a story, but it's more trouble than it's worth. And also, it doesn't have a happy ending. Um, it's like... It's like my empire strikes back, you know? Like, it's just sad. <laughs> um, like, the heroes lose. You know? Emotionally got my hand cut off, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, no, but... This is, this is more so... Think about it like... This is the part two... To that breakup story. Which I'll probably tell at a later date. Um, so this is like the return of the Jedi to Empire. Um, and this is the triumphant, like, overcoming of, like, the, 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 the Empire and, and, you know, the Republic coming back, Darth Vader's gone, uh, you know, <laughs> it, this is, this is like the happy ending. Um. But with that really convoluted nerd analogy out of the way, um, like, I, I want to just get right into it, I guess. Um, like I said, I don't script these, uh, so it's an abrupt segue, I guess. Anyways, so as I was saying, last year, uh, I was in a really, like, abusive relationship um it was very verbally abusive um and also unfortunately it it did get physical um towards me and not constantly it was very like on occasion it was very subtle um but Sorry, uh, <laughs> no, um, and then they cut things off, like, very out of nowhere, um, so, it's, think of, okay, going back to the Star Wars analogy, I'm sorry, um, think about it like this, like, imagine if, like, George Lucas decided to cut Empire Strikes Back, like, right after, like, you know, Vader's fighting Luke, and, you know, he goes, no, Luke, I'm your father, uh, cuts off his hand, Luke jumps off of the thing, uh, and then imagine he just decides to end the movie there, roll credits, and then not make another movie, right? And that's what it felt like in that moment, right? Like, because... At that point in time, the manipulation had been so bad that, like, I genuinely could not see that, like, this was not a good person for me and they were not treating me well, right? Um, because when you're in the moment like that, like, those, and you're wearing those, like, rose-colored glasses, the red flags disappear because you're subconsciously you're making the excuses for them, right? You know? Oh, they're under a lot of stress right now. You know, things at home aren't great. Or, like, maybe it's, you know, they had a rough childhood. childhood. Um, you know? Like, you're, you're, you're basically justifying all of their actions with, it's okay, they still love me. 
Uh, and when you're so naive, like, this is, like, your first, like, real, like, relationship. Like, there's, you know, the failed talking stages and the, the whatever and what have you. Um, and this, but this is, like, the first big shot, right? Um, it's, it's hard to look out for things that you're not really aware of, right? Um, as unfortunate as that is. Um, and so, I, 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 I didn't know any better. I didn't, I, like, I was under the impression, like, oh, you know, maybe this is just, like, how relationships are, you know, like, I'm, I'll just, I'll be there for this person, and I, I, maybe, like, sometimes, if I'm lucky, like, they'll be there for me, um, that is not how that works, and things ended, um, very abruptly, and I never understood why, it felt so out of the blue, uh, I later found out that I was cheated on, but, again, neither here nor there. Um, no, this is essentially, um, like, I, I, had, I had put all of the blame onto myself, right? Because for such a long time, I had genuinely thought to myself that I was in the wrong and that I could not, like, I'd never let myself be upset. Um, because I felt as though being upset, being angry, being sad were not emotions I deserved to feel. Um, and so I didn't, I, like, I, I shut myself off from them. Um, and for the majority of 2023, um, I hated myself, like genuinely. Um, and so it took the, the push of like some of my really, really close friends that, um, knew her basically going, hey, I want you to know that, like, this isn't your fault. Like, she did this to other people. She did this to, like, every guy she's been with. This is not a you thing, dog. You did not do anything. This is all her. That was, like, my wake-up call. That was, like, the proverbial smack across the face where it's like, hey, dude. Like, you know the, the, the uh, Goodwill hunting, it's not your fault? scene uh that's that's what it felt like for me um and so that had to have been around i want to say october november where i'd shut myself off from feeling all of those emotions that are integral to like the healing process um and so I, I finally felt them, but I felt them all at once. Um, but it really, I will say, it, like it really helped me get a better understanding of myself because I, it's almost like I, I had to break myself down in order to put myself back together, and I put myself back together, you know, better than I, I was because I had a, such a deep understanding of who I am as a person because I was able to kind of like look at the pieces and, and kind of get a, a good understanding of who I am. Um, and, you know, I was able to like go into to, um, 2024, you know, just like clean slate. You know, everything is better. Like, it's, I'm starting over, right? That's, that's where I thought about it. That's how I thought about it. I'm starting over. It's a, you know, fresh start for me. 
and I get to live my life the way I want to live it without the judgment or harshness or influence of someone that only really kept me around a lot for their own entertainment or whatever. Because um, ultimately I'll never know what was really going through their head because it was just full stop silent. Um, so like, and, and that is something that also like I, I had to force myself to accept. Like, yo, know, like it's it's done. Like the answers I want, never like uh, I'm not I'm not gonna get them. Uh, and even if I did, you know, like what's to say they're the truth, right? Um, I think the weirdest thing though is is being at a point where I'm not angry. Um, like I don't I don't want to be anywhere near them. But at the same time, it's like, you know, people, people fuck up, people make mistakes, you know, I don't think, I don't know what I think, I think I'm just rambling, <laughs> um, uh, but no, like, I, I'm at a point where I think I'm the happiest I've ever been, right? Uh, because I'm over her, right? I'm literally at the time of recording this getting ready to ask out uh, another person soon. Um, and I'm super excited because, uh, I don't know, like, I, I have a good feeling about it. Uh, it makes me super happy. Um, so I'm hoping it goes well. I will be devastated if it doesn't. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding, but um, no. Um, I think ultimately, I'm just now. I'm much more in tune with my emotions, and it's because I, I had to go through hardship, right? Like I had to go through a low point in life. But now that I went through that low point in my life, like, the, the highs, the, the, you know, the, the, the high points, they're so much better. They feel so much better. Um, you know, like, I, last year, I was in the darkest place of my life, right? And for me, that was scary. That was the scariest thing ever. It was terrifying. Um, hell, even starting the year, I was in one of the darkest places up until that point. But it's it's interesting that I, at the time, didn't have the means to really get an understanding of, of myself and, like, I, I hadn't experienced the um, the right situation that could facilitate the emotional growth that I had gone through. And then, you know, um, me and that, that person started dating and then, uh, you know, I wasn't treated well, and then things ended abruptly, and it sent me in that downward spiral, but honestly, because of that downward spiral, like, I, I, I was able to, like, go through that emotional growth, and, and that mental growth, and, and I basically, because I promised myself, like, I'm never going to allow something like this to happen to me again, right? Um, 
because and and I there's a quote from a friend of mine um, that literally changed my perspective right on everything it is that the loneliness is a state of mind just because you are alone or just because um, you are lonely that does not mean you are alone right and that that changed my perspective right like it, it forced me to look at everything in that new lens where it's like oh my god I like why why am I so hung up on this this person that didn't care about me when I have all these people that do that that genuinely want the best for me they want me to be happy they want to see me succeed and when I kind of understood it through that and then saw it through that lens like I it really made me want to be happier to be better to be the best version of myself if not for me I wanted to do it for the people in my life that do care I wanted to be there because I'd been so distant for months at this point um you know and so going into 2024 you know fresh start like I just as much as you know in the back of my mind there was that itch that still was like it hurts right uh, I was able to acknowledge that it wasn't it doesn't hurt as bad as it did before um Tomorrow, it will continue to not hurt even more. Like, it'll hurt a little less and a little less until now, now it doesn't hurt at all. And, you know, I think just life, in, in life, Everything happens for a reason, right? That is something I'm a firm believer in. And this is no exception. I genuinely am of the belief that I experienced what I experienced because I needed to... I, I needed this mindset. Like, I needed to just be at a point where... You know, I just don't worry. <clears throat> and now that I'm here, it's like... I... I... Honestly, if, if I had to go through all of it again... This is gonna... And this is crazy coming from me. Uh, I, I... I'd do it. Um... Just because, like, I... For the first time in my life... Um... I, I love who I am, you know? Um, I love the people in my life, the people in my circle, the, the friends that I currently have. Um, they all mean the world to me, and so I wouldn't ever give that up. Uh, as corny and, and cheesy as that is. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. And... I hope that, like, now, now I will say that I'm, I'm not the type of person to ever wish what I went through on anyone, not even the person that did it to me. Um, you know, like, I, like, I've said this to my friends for a minute now, um, like, the best way I can describe how I feel about it is I I want to see them reach the, the, the mindset that I, I have. I want to see them reach this point. I want to see them succeed. I just I, I cannot be a part of it. I cannot have that in my life. 
um, because I just, I, I don't think that they are a healthy person for me to be around, and I just, you know, I've, I've made too much progress, and giving that up is just something that is not appealing to me. Um, so, but that doesn't mean that I, I don't want to see them succeed, right? Everyone deserves to be happy, it's just, sometimes, it's just, you know, it's not in the cards, and that's okay. I feel like it all ties back into the the message of the video, which is in order to like you just just overcoming hardships really just puts a lot into perspective. You kind of have this new um, appreciation for just the human experience, you know, life in general. But I can genuinely say that, like, I'm, I'm so fucking happy. Uh, and now that I'm, I'm getting ready to, to ask out a, uh, uh, an, another friend of mine, like, I'm, I'm nervous, but, like, at the same time, you know, I know that I already experienced... I think the worst it could get. Um, so really, like, it is it is a good nervous, but no, I I'm just I think the the best way to describe where my mindset is I think is just that it's my life is peaceful. Um, I have a healthy friend group I have a healthy like relationship with everyone in my life like shit's nice dude <laughs> um, and I'm not like I'm not trying to flex right like that's not the intention but like it's just I'm just I'm I'm appreciative of my situation you know um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't really know, like, what else to, uh, to really add on. I don't think I can really add a whole lot to the, uh, to the conversation. Um, I'm probably gonna keep just playing on this, this world for these videos. Like, I'll just keep it going. Um, you know, um. You know, hopefully turn it into a series if you guys are interested in it and uh, like hearing me talk. I know my chat over on Twitch uh, loves just hearing me talk about my life, and I feel like this is a good way for me to pass that knowledge on to um, just a lot of people without, you know, being like, you know, tune into my streams, you know? Um, cause I'm, I don't know. I'm enjoying the whole YouTube grind, but. That's, that's really all for now, so... Uh...